So hi everyone, my name is uh, Manika Bouenia. I uh, work um, as the OCV focal point uh, and I will be presenting this uh, presentation on the integration of WASH and uh, OCV with uh, Francis Moulemba. If you want to introduce yourself, Francis. Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Francis Moulemba working for WHO for sure, um, sort of acting between the OCV uh, and the WASH. Uh, but my role here is from the operations support and logistics. Thank you. Thanks. Very happy uh, to present you um, uh, this integration of WASH and uh, OCV. Uh, Francis and me come back from uh, Ethiopia uh, in Tigray where we could uh, implement uh, this project. So uh, let's go to the presentation of, uh, of the, the initial uh, project. So uh, OCV is uh, used in reactive and preventive campaign. Uh, however, the WASH remains the foundation of the sun-stained uh, cholera control. Uh, so it's very important to have an integrated uh, approach of the OCV uh, and the, the WASH. So the OCV campaigns uh, present uh, an advantage of an immediate uh, response with access uh, directly to the, the communities and offers an opportunity uh, to trigger WASH activities. So the WASH working group and the OCV uh, working group uh, propose to take an advantage of the emergency uh, campaigns uh, as an entry point and a catalyst to implement WASH activities and to advocate for longer term WASH uh, investment. So uh, what uh, could be done? So the, the, the uh, guidance was developed and this guidance pro uh, proposed a minimum package for WASH and the OCB during emergency campaigns. Just want to say here that for preventive campaign, uh, the country, when they apply, uh, they, they have to submit a plan of WASH activities that would be uh, implemented for short, long term. Uh, but for the, the, the emergency, most of the time, is um, the, the, the WASH activities has also to be implemented, but uh, uh, we are less regardless on that because it's a, an emergency. So what is proposed is uh, activities such as uh, chlorination of water, uh, such as uh, distributing um, uh, to, to propose a bulk chlorination and uh, water storage, so per household, provision of hygienic items such as soaps, uh, uh, but also mass communication campaign, delivering uh, materials um, of uh, hygiene promotion, and but of course uh, monitoring and evaluating all uh, this activity. So all of this uh, was budgeted uh, to be for uh, 200,000 people, uh, would represent one, uh, one million uh, dollars. So how to implement that? Uh, during a campaign, so uh, there is the first round, the second round, and it's followed by uh, a coverage survey. So what is proposed is that uh, during the first round of the OCV, of the OCV campaign, uh, whether it's uh, door to door or no, is to use that to, to on the same time to distribute uh, some wash items and to do those, those activities that I, I just presented. Uh, 15 days after, the second round uh, has to be implemented. So, so we go again uh, in the houses uh, for the delivering the vaccine. And the idea is to take this opportunity to implement a post-intervention monitoring, which would be uh, a survey uh, that would assess uh, the, the intervention that, uh, that was implemented. For example, a small survey that uh, where we would ask uh, to people um, if they received the buckets uh, and to test also the water at home, that kind of activity. 
Uh, then, the, during the OCB coverage, of course, uh, as it was presented by uh, Tom and Zoll, is to include a WASH component uh, to the coverage survey. So we try to implement that in and uh, to pilot that first in 2020 in uh, in 2019 in Sudan. We were in the field also, uh, Francis and me. Um, but we didn't manage. We failed somehow uh, because we realized that uh, there were many things that had to be anticipated and that uh, we didn't. And uh, an outbreak occurs. Is unpredictable, but we have to be uh, more prepared. Uh, but then um, we managed to implement that in uh, Tigray. Uh, so there was, a, as you know, a, there's a humanitarian uh, conflict in uh, Tigray since uh, since November, and in May 2021, the country uh, requested four million doses that were approved for a preventive campaign in Tigray. So Tigray is identified as a hotspot. At that moment, we didn't know if there was cases or no because the surveillance system was really affected. Uh, so the campaign was implemented in uh, June. Um, only uh, one, the, the only out of the two million uh, people that were targeted, uh, 1.4 million people were vaccinated. Uh, the, there was a lot of difficulty during the campaign. Um, first of all, uh, the, the, the IDPs were difficult. It was difficult to find them uh, at home. So they had to extend the campaign to other areas that where it was uh, planned. It was difficult to implement monitoring and evaluation. Um, the second round is still not implemented because right after the, the campaign, uh, the conflict, uh, the, the security um, uh, was really uh, important, and there was a lot of uh, there was a, a cut of uh, of any communication. Um, uh, so it was uh, completely impossible to implement uh, the second round and to have an appropriate monitoring and evaluation. So I was there for this uh, period. I will let now the my colleague uh, Francis to present. Um, the implementation of, uh, of the, the activity before the campaign. Uh, thank you so much, Marika. I hope you can hear me well. Um, so um, for Tigre, uh, there were some plans to, of course, to go, uh, integrate the WASH uh, and the OCV. Um, so the initial sizing of the campaign, as Malika mentioned at the beginning, about the 200,000 families was like two, that's meaning 1 million people. But for Tigre, I think we're uh, targeting vaccination of 2 million people. Now with the WASH uh, part to integrate into that, I think there was no time really uh, to, 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 to bring in all the resources including the equipment to match with the OCB campaign. However, uh, uh, as you can see from the slide, those are the initial sizing for the one million. Uh, and I think it's just a question for multiplication if you need to do that for two million people or more. Okay. Next slide, please. Yeah, so uh, just in brief, uh, this is just to show you uh, what we had planned and what was re realized, of course, there are some the, there are some reasons to give later as to why we did not manage to do that. But uh, uh, as 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 you know, there was the host community, but also there are some IDPs. Um, because of the security, I think we had some problems to get real figures uh, until the last minute. Uh, but also, uh, uh, we try to bring in all the uh, equipment, the wash and the non-food items from uh, Addis Ababa to Tigray, uh, which was also a challenge. So um, most of the things were to procure the things from Addis Ababa to transport them into Tigray, especially into Mekere store them and distribute them. Uh, as you may uh, know, during the, uh, this period, there was a lot of looting. So we could not preposition the items 
or the equipment right in the waredas or the districts that were targeted for vaccination. And the districts are the one that you see on your left. I think there were 13 of them that were targeted uh, uh, by that time. However, we managed to distribute some uh, soaps together uh, with some jelly cans and some uh, water purification uh, tablets. Uh, below are some of the figures uh, representing what was uh, distributed. Uh, knowing that uh, choosing which warrior to distribute what uh, uh, was also in negotiation with the regional health bureau because some of the places had already received some of the items from other partners or from the, uh, the government. Next slide, please. Yes, so now just to, 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 to come back to what I was saying uh, regarding uh, the, the target, the initial targeting and what was realized, there were some challenges, of course. Uh, and I just for, forgot to mention to it that probably for the first round, what was realized was less than 25% of what we had, had liked to, 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 uh, to, to, to complete. Uh, hoping that during the next round, we'll complete the, the remaining that we did not uh, manage to, to do. These are some of the reasons why we uh, had some uh, challenges. So as, as Malika mentioned, the active uh, conflict in the rural areas, uh, uh, we had problems to assess, to assess the storage, to assess the, uh, the road network, but also uh, the cold chain because the idea we were supposed to be distributing OCV and these wash uh, items at the same time. The other reason uh, it was that IDPs sometimes kept on uh, moving. So uh, this was also a challenge because ideally we had wanted to target more the IDPs than the uh, host community. Uh, uh, other issues uh, remains the internal um, procedures. Uh, so procuring these uh, uh, huge quantities of uh, equipment, especially the jerry cans that were uh, um, rigid jerry cans, was, was a challenge. Um, um, but even though when uh, those were procured in the suburb, uh, it was so difficult as to know when they will reach to the field in time to be distributed uh, before uh, the base, uh, meaning to say there were these random roadblocks and sometimes the trucks will take more than five days between Addis Ababa and, and Mekere. So it was so difficult to plan as to what, uh, when you receive them and distribute them before uh, the death. And one of the major things, of course, this is not necessarily for uh, the wash part, but also there was the uh, challenges with the cold chain, as you may recall that uh, there were some looting from uh, with the military type So um, all fridges or whatever were taken out. Uh, this was the challenge with the, for the vaccine uh, conservation. I think I will stop there and I will leave Malika with the last part uh, of the recommendation. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Francis. So what we really uh, wanted to, to, to say is that um, we're happy that we, we, we could uh, pilot uh, this project and we realize now by uh, coming back from the field and see all the difficulties that we, uh, we've seen, we want to keep continue, continuing on the implementing that, of course, continuing to implement that in other emergencies with all the lessons learned uh, that we have. So what is very uh, important and as a recommendation is um, to have a prepositioning of, uh, of wash items uh, somewhere. Uh, it's also to be, um, to have more anticipation and to identify the countries that could from now face any outbreak and to concentrate and to prepare everything uh, to be to be ready where we think that uh, there will be uh, an outbreak. Uh, something very uh, difficult that we faced, especially in Sudan, was to have ready, readily available funds. That is, uh, that's uh, 
very uh, important. The distribution in, uh, in Ethiopia uh, had led to a reflection of the type uh, of wash items that uh, we initially uh, have put in, uh, in the list. Uh, and of course, we think of uh, to have a more trained and educated staff uh, for logistics. So that's uh, all for us. We hope that uh, we can implement that uh, again and we will continue to work uh, together with the uh, WASH working group uh, um, to implement uh, that uh, next time for another outbreak.